Millie texted me and said, I hear you're annoyed with me. Maybe stop hating me and start asking yourself why your future husband is so open to flirting with me in the first place. I'm single. He's not. What you not gonna do, Millie? What you not gonna do is be on my phone being disrespectful. That's what you not gonna do. Okay, here's Team Grinny. This is the fan this is the family group chat, y'all. Um, the family group chat plus Greg. <laughs> she said, Happy moving in day, Greg and Joni. A big step towards a beautiful future together. And Dad said, Good luck with it all. Exciting day for you both. Okay, thank you. Thank you, parents. Even though my man trash. I don't know who Dante is, y'all, but here go Dante. I said, Hey Dante, sorry to bother you, but can I ask you a real quick question? He said, hi, what's up? You never text me, LOL. How's your week off? I said, all good. Oh, oh yeah, I never text him because this is the top of the message. He said, how's your week off? I said, all good, thanks for asking. He said, big moving day today, I hear. Although the Gregster didn't show up for work, he's so hungover. I said, I heard. He said, when's the house warming? I said, soon. Anyway, quick question. Do you guys work with someone named Maya? Think she works on the front desk? And Dante said, um, doesn't sound familiar. He Dante must be a co-worker of Greg's. Why do you ask? I said, no reason. I think I got my wires crossed. He said, no worries. See you next week and happy moving day. And I said, thanks, dude. So here go my man in another lie. Another lie. <laughs> I'm sick of him. Here go the bridesmaids chat. Bria said, what's up, bridesmaids? It's been super quiet on here considering the wedding is like four weeks away. Courtney said, yes, updates on the dresses. Bria said, I've been full on ketosis for two weeks and I need to know I can get my butt into that gown. No one wants to see me hangry because I'll steal everyone's thunder. And Courtney said, Rhonda, how's the job hunting going? And Rhonda said, non-existent. I could work in an office, but that's just lame. And Bria said, right. Rhonda said, I think I might become an influencer. <laughs> Bria said, of oh, what? Rhonda said, life, keeping it real. Okay, listen. Courtney said, is there such thing as an influencer who teaches chicks how to be a badass? Rhonda said, there's types of influencers on how to watch paint dry. Bria said, maybe you can be a life coach. Cleo said, who, Rhonda? <laughs> Bria said, why the hell not? Give me sass over a shrink any day. Rhonda said, thanks, babe. That's giving me some food for thought. Cleo said, so the dresses, where are they? Courtney said, Joni, is anyone there? I said, hey girls, they arrive next week. I'll let you know about the fitting. And she said, sweet, are you excited? I said, yep, it's all becoming very real. Courtney said, get practice in those vows till death do you part and all that jazz. <sighs> y'all, my man trash, he ain't gonna be here in four weeks. So what y'all talking about? Okay, y'all, read me first. Don't forget, love, MTV, <laughs> do not care about this. I don't care. Okay, here go, Millie, y'all, wait a minute. Millie, <laughs> Millie texted me and said, I hear you're annoyed with me. Maybe stop hating me and start asking yourself why your future husband is so open to flirting with me in the first place. I'm single. He's not. So at what point do we fight her? I don't know if I asked this question before. Probably I have, but... I still don't have the answer. At what point do we fight her? Because who does she think she is on my phone talking reckless like this? I mean, she's absolutely right. I should be upset with Greg. I should be upset with Greg. I don't know why we have not called it off with Greg yet. I don't understand it. But what you not going to do, Millie, what you not going to do is be on my phone being disrespectful. That's what you not going to do. I'm sick of y'all. Sick of everybody. Okay, let's go to Rhonda. I said, look, I know I said some horrible things to you yesterday, but can I call you? She said, sure, if you don't mind me being sweaty, just finish the run. Okay, Rhonda. Hey, Rhonda. Hey, Rhonda. Hi. Oh, cute. We need to hey, start Rhonda. running. As of today, I'm working on my glutes. It was time I paid my ass some attention. Oh, okay. stop it, you got a great ass. But it can always be greater, so here we are. You are. Right. I'm sorry. Like, really sorry. So am I. 
Like, super sorry. I don't want a guy to come in between us. Right. Ignore me. It's not my place to be shooting my mouth off telling you who to be with. No, you do because you're my sister. I just hate that it's tearing us apart. So do no. I. Are you jealous of me? Why would I be jealous of you? <laughs> it feels like that sometimes, sis. Well, what is there to be jealous about other than your perfect life, of course? I didn't always have my life worked out, you know. Didn't you? You were too young to remember. But when mom and dad went through their selfish phase, I had to grow up super fast. They just forgot about us. I think they stopped caring for a while. And the divorce was savage. Yeah, I can remember sleeping in your room and turning up the music to drown out the sound of the arguing. And I remember you practically raised me for three years and gave up your childhood. I should have thanked you for that. When you got older, I went off the rails too. Wild nights out and mornings with my head down the toilet. God, I was usually so high. I didn't remember what day it was. Oh, wow. I would have loved to see that, Joni. It didn't last too long. How come? Well, I had to grow up all over again when Kai came along, mm. and that's okay because it grounded me. But when you tell me you're jealous of me, I'm thinking I'm kind of jealous of your freedom. Mom and dad expect me to have it all together because I always have, and the only reason I think they praise me is because of their own guilt about leaving me to bring you up. Not because I'm somehow better. I didn't think of it like that. We both suffered, and it doesn't need to be a competition anymore. Maybe, you're, maybe we're more similar than we realize. I think we're just at different stages, but I'm here for you no matter what. Right back at you. So, tell me, tell me what's happening. What's Is it team? something to do with Greg? Yeah. Yeah. I've done something awful. I was gonna sound crazy, but I used a GPS tracker to what? track him. Where the hell do you get one of those from? How about that? Uh, I ordered one the other day, and I know that makes me the worst person in the world, but no, he's no. been lying about where he said he was. Right. I knew it. Where the hell was he? An hour outside Foundry Drive. Oh my god, sis. That's the same place I saw him two nights ago. Why would he lie about where he was unless he's somewhere he shouldn't be? <sighs> do you think he was meeting the same chick again? Yes, yeah. I do. Ugh, I'm yeah. so sorry. This isn't your fault. It's mine for ignoring your advice when the signs have been there. So what are you going to do about it? I can honey trap him if you like. I don't think we should go that far. Why the hell not? Name and shame the asshole. I need to hear the side of things. I can't just accuse him like that. Okay. So ask him where he is, see if he lies, and trap him again. Then you have proof. But I guarantee you he's lying. Yeah. God, I can't believe he could do this to me. I told you he wasn't right for you. He's been lying. Now is not the time to glow, Rhonda. I'm just saying, at least you know now before you sign your life away. Right. It's not just that. I, I, I think I'm pregnant, Rhonda. <laughs> I'm going to the doctor's later today. Oh my god, sis. Does he know? No, he doesn't. And I'm worried if he finds out, he'll run a mile. I'm not sure I can bring a baby into the world on my own again. I'm not running a mile anyway. Oh, babe. Whatever happens, you are not on your own. I know I'm not the world's greatest role model, but you have me. You're cool, Aunt Rhonda. Everyone knows it. I am. I guess I am, aren't I? <laughs> All right. You need to hang up, find out what he's doing. But promise me if he's lying to you, you have to break up with him. Let me speak to him first. Sis. I gotta go. Speak soon. I love you, sis. You too. Speak later. Um, first of all, Rhonda Q. Hey, girl. Hey, sis. Um, second of all, Rhonda said she had just been out for a run. And I hope I don't mind her being sweaty. Where was she sweaty at? Because that girl had a full face of makeup on. And she wasn't even wearing, like, workout gear. Like, she was wearing, like, a halter top. So, like, <laughs> girl, you i'm not out running but you, i mean listen she might be i don't know i don't know i'll just be talking okay that's it y'all let's go to brady though brady got a story this is the best i can get now that my wingman has flown to the nest bye brady we'll be here when you realize you made a big mistake
jokes, kind of. Brady want to get knocked out too, apparently. I'm sick of all these people. I am sick of all these people. Okay, y'all, Um, real quick, as I was preparing for this video, I was scrolling down and somebody said, you know, an unknown number, and I would like to just, <laughs> I, I just want to see what's going on here. Um, Let's read this because I it caught my attention and I would like to read it. Um, this is unknown from 297 days ago. They said, hi, I don't know who this is, but this isn't the first time your number has come up. Now I'm seeing it on my landline bill. Do I know you? There are several outgoing calls here, but I haven't made them. I guess silence is the easiest option. I want answers, Joni. I think I deserve them. I think I deserve to know the truth. Joni Draper, is that your name? Don't ignore me. <laughs> I could make life very difficult for you. Now I'm being told it wasn't you, that I've got this mixed up. Did I get this all wrong? I said, hi, I'm sorry. I don't know who you are or what you're talking about. I've never called anyone with the surname Henley. My phone was bought reconditioned recently. My name isn't Joni Draper. <laughs> Why am I lying? Why am I lying too? That's why me and Greg go together so good because I'm a liar just like Greg is a liar. I assume that this is Curtis's wife. I, um, is it Margo? I think it's her name. I think this is Curtis's wife, but I'm I'm lying apparently. <laughs> I guess I'm lying. All right, y'all, here go Greg. He said, babe, just to let you know, I'm going to need to do two trips in my car. My trunk can't take it. And then he posted... Okay, whatever. I said, are you at your place still? I thought you'd be here by now. Kai is waiting, so am I. He said, sorry, I just arrived at work. I'm running late. I had to pick up my laptop to do some paperwork. What? <laughs> I said, why is your laptop at work? You can't turn up after you called in sick. He said, what's with the third degree? My laptop is at work because I forgot it. If you don't believe I called in sick, ask them. There's no big drama. What are you talking about? <laughs> what is he talking about? I said, I never said I didn't believe you. Why are you overreacting? He said, why are you? There's obviously something on your mind. I said, I spent the last two days defending you. The last two weeks on the Suggestions channel questioning myself and my actions and feeling like my whole world could break in two. Okay, there is something on my mind and it's not going nowhere. I can't ignore it because what you're telling me doesn't add up. If asking this makes you hate me, then that's the risk I gotta take. Where were you first thing this morning? He said, what the hell is up with you? I was at home and now I'm at work. I said, I know you wasn't at home and I know you're not at work right now. Right, cause I got a tracker on you, bro. He said, this is insane. I said, is it? He said, how do you know where I am? Is Rhonda following me or something? I said, don't bring my sister into this, right? He said, why? You're both acting crazy. I said, you on the other side of town, bro, just like you were two nights ago and today, right this second. He said, no, I'm not. And I said, stop lying to me. I sent him the GPS coordinates. That's what I'm talking about, girl. Put the put it on the Google Maps. Put it on the Google Maps. He said, WTF, have you been tracking me? Joni, why are you invading my privacy to get answers to some screwed up theory that's all in your head? What screwed up theory? What screwed up theory? Then why are you lying here? Why is he lying there? If it's a theory, why don't you tell the truth? Why don't you tell the truth, Greg? Then we wouldn't have to be putting GPS trackers on your car and stuff. See how he be flipping this around? What is what is this man? Who is this man? This man got all the audacity. All the audacity. I said, is it in my head? You've lied twice about where you are. He said, did you put that in my car yesterday after our meal? You crossed the line. I can't even talk to you right now. He did. She did put it on his car. I forgot about that. Y'all remember we went to lunch with Greg and then I said something like, I got to go drop something off in his car, but then I'm going to take an Uber back home. We put the, we put the tracker. Jody is, girl, <laughs> I like her. I like Jody now. I said, Greg, I'm spiraling right now. I need answers. 
He said, Joni, look at what you're doing. First, you let your sister question my motives and intentions. Then I find out you slept with the one guy I hate most. You're being needy and distant, keeping things from me. Testing my reaction about Millie. Is that who you really are? Jealous, twisted, and paranoid? To the point you're checking up on my every move. Is there anything else I should know? Joni. I said, I found your bank statements. I already knew about the money. He said, what? I said, I saw there were payments to this e-game store thing. <laughs> Greg said, you went through my things. Those are my personal belongings. I said, I know. I don't really know what I was thinking. You don't understand how confused I was. Rhonda was saying I needed to check. He said, how weak are you that you let your kid's sister influence your decision making? I said, that's really cruel. He said, is it? This isn't Rhonda's fault. It's all you. You had a chance, Joni, whether to believe me or come to me with your concerns. Instead, you choose to totally disrespect me. I said, I'm sorry. I know how wrong it was. Not apologizing to him. He said, do you really want to know where I was two nights ago and where I am right now? Here. Okay, it's a picture of a wedding dress. I guess he in front of a bridal shop. I said, I don't get it. He said, it was a wedding dress shop. I'm collecting your dress. I said, my dress? He said, it was supposed to be a surprise because I know you're not very happy with the one you have. I had it custom made by a designer. I can give you her name if you need to check her out too. I didn't want you to find out, so I went to organize it after work. I'm here picking it up now. I'm going to go on the record. Suggestions is going to go on the record and say that I don't believe that for one second. I don't believe this man for one second because first he lied and said that he was picking up a ring. Why would you lie about picking up the ring when you were actually picking up the wedding dress? Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, why are you lying? <laughs> what? Like, I this feels like another lie like just deep in my spirit it feels like another lie i don't believe this man for a second you could just take you could take a picture i'd be like send me send me the designer since you want to since you want to act like that send me the designer and how you picking up wedding dresses when you ain't got no money you can't even afford the five thousand dollar ring but you can afford to pick up a custom wedding dress which is it which is it, Greg? And Johnny about to eat all this up. So you know what? It's fine. <laughs> but I just want to go on record and say I don't believe it. Johnny is going to believe it because Johnny trash. But suggestions, we don't believe this for a second. Johnny said, Greg, I don't know what to say. I've spoiled everything. He said, yes, you have. It's plain to see you have zero faith in me. It Listen. Because you trash. If you haven't been lying about everything since the beginning of this this series, we would not we would have some faith in you, Greg. Here's Rhonda, y'all. I said, I made a terrible mistake. She said, what do you mean? I said, Greg was collecting my wedding dress. That's why he was on the other side of town. Rhonda said, WTF, you're going to have to catch me up here. I said, you remember I got my wedding dress on sale and I wasn't that thrilled with it. Well, Greg decided to look into a private designer. It was meant to be a surprise, and I've spoiled everything by not trusting him. <laughs> Rhonda said, so you're telling me Greg has single-handedly found a designer and has been meeting with her in the middle of the night. Right, Rhonda. I said, yes, I know it sounds weird. She said, it doesn't sound weird. It sounds like total bull. Who meets a designer late at night? Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody please help my sis, Joni. I said, someone who works late hospital shifts, designers do work late. <laughs> Rhonda said, so do hookers. <laughs> I'm joking. Not really. You are right. Do you really believe this? I said, I don't know, but how will I ever know for certain? It's not just me I have to think about anymore. Rhonda said, you mean the baby? I said, yes, and Kai, he knows something is wrong and it will break his heart if Greg isn't around. She said, would you rather stay with a man you can't trust? I said, but what if he's being honest? He's not being, he ain't been honest since the first, okay. <laughs> okay. She said, I don't know what to say anymore. Only that whatever happens, you're not alone. I need to go, babe. I'm not going to tell you what to do this time. I said, if you see or speak to Greg, please don't tell him anything. <laughs> Rhonda said, why would I speak to Greg? I said, you know what I mean. And then she put a kiss. I put a kiss. Yo, Greg is, <laughs> Greg is trash. That man is trash. 
Um, I got an email. Okay, here go the jeweler. She said, just a courtesy email to follow up. Are you interested in booking a consultation? Girl, no. I just wanted to catch my man in a lie, and I caught him in a lie, so <laughs> I don't care. Girl, we can't afford your wedding ring. It probably ain't even going to be no wedding.